So I was uh, conducting some stuff right here yesterday. It's zero one. Um, zero I mean zero one fifteen to two thousand twenty. This is Alpha Black one 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 nine five seven. And I was laying right here. Not too many people could see visions and I see visions all the time. And um, when I was laying right here I was looking up at these logs right here. And there's only one, two, three lights. One, two, three lights. And there's only what six logs right there or seven and then here's another light and then here's another light right here but let's let's go with the diamond part first so i don't know i was just messing around and saw a diamond right here saw a diamond right there and it, i pointed to this corner right here and that corner pointed to this corner over here <coughs> to that corner right there from this wall and then this corner pointed to this corner right here which which leads you to one more spot and I had wrote it right here too somewhere right there so it goes right here and then it points to that corner and then that corner only points to where I dropped this glass at right in the middle and I made it look like diamonds but then if you look up right here if you look up right here I pointed to that corner too right there and that's like a three prong like almost an OCI well anyways let's start off right here where I was sleeping at yesterday I was laying right here on the floor because I'm sleeping in this abandoned house right here and I was picking up the trash right there but I don't got enough baskets to pick up all the trash. And this is my bed over here. I've been sleeping in the streets for the past almost a year now. And it's already almost been a year. And this is my, where I sleep at right here and stuff. I mean, I try to make it as safe as possible for myself. I don't got no family. I don't got no, uh, no friends, no nothing, no more. I just, it's just me, myself, and I. And, um, so I was sleeping right here. As you can see, yesterday I had put this right there and got a new blanket from the rescue mission. And I don't really like to sleep at the rescue mission. I'm just They just fucking are crazy over there. And then I was looking at this wall and I remembered that one of the painters had, uh, one of the uh, stucco workers had made a map out of this wall right here. So all those signs right there, all those markings right here, all of that stuff means means something. So there's three trees right there. There's one, two, three right here, and then there's a fourth tree up there. And then right here, it says, okay. See the okay part? And then right here, it says, look, L O. Oh, okay, look. And then right here it has a, a Asian or Japan, yeah, Asian symbol. Where was it at? Um, uh, I think it's right here somewhere. Right there somewhere. <laughs> but I'll, I'm kind of sleepy. I barely woke up right now. And it says, look for book. Something about a book. I don't know what the book is. But I wrote right there, but it smeared off because it's raining right now. And then right here, this is what I wrote, alpha black. Well, anyways, that light went to this, so I made the marking on the floor right here. And it pointed to a tree out there somewhere. And I don't know what tree it pointed to, but also the doors mean something because there's only two left doors in this front of this building right here. Two left doors. And then if you look at these light fixtures, it, it, it makes a pyramid. See those, that metal, it's pointed on one direction. And there was that light right there that pointed to that log right there. Well, it points to this log right here. That light fixture points to that log, which represents the all seen eye. I wrote that right there. Points to the all seen eye. And then right here, this one points to the same log. And it points to all C9. 
So this has the light that the light fixture right there. We're missing some light fixtures like the glass parts of the light fixtures. Those are very important. Well, anyways, it leads. I made the marker here in the floor, and it leads all the way down to one of those trees over there. I'm not gonna do like a complete conduction on this. I'm just gonna just show you quick and briefly. And then we got the light right here that leads to the log right here as well. And then it leads right there to another thing. And then right here, and between this tree and right here, there's a there's a box buried right there. And remember this this uh golf course contains an underground uh, passageway too. So there's an underground passageway somewhere around here. Well, let's get to the fun part real quick, because I know actually we'll save the fun for last. Now let's go let's go over here. Oh yeah, and remember, there's these two boxes too, because the light fixtures are here. There's a box right there, and there's a box right here. So that means boom, boom, point to the eye. That means there has to be two boxes out there somewhere. And if if this doesn't make completely sense then then that log right there, the one that I was telling you right here, comes down to this line. And then there's this line right here, which points out that way to one of those trees. So we don't know if it's one of those trees or that tree over there. But anyways, <coughs> anyhow, let me take a I step back so you could take a fully look at this place. And there's a lot of triangles right here. Triangle, triangle. But we'll, we'll, we'll complete that some other time. Well, anyways, look. That's how it looks in the front. Right there. See? There's the all seen eye. Alright. So, boom, right here. To one of those trees. And remember, this is... This is old, however dated this house was, is when it was dated with the trees out there and stuff. And there's gonna be a lot of jealous people about this video because they're jealous of me and they don't want me to do it. I already know it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Anyhow, they ain't gonna stop me from doing it. Remember, two left doors for some reason. What, what does the two left doors represent? I still haven't figured that out. But once I figure out the two left doors, we'll figure it out. And then this right here, also points out that direction to one of those trees out there so we still got to figure out that because if you see right here on this wall there's only that's like an eye which only represents one log and there's no log on this side right here there should be a log right here and there's no log so that might be the eye but I'm not necessarily for sure on that yet, so I wouldn't really justify yourself right on it, you know? So there's the eye, and then there's the line right here. And it either goes that way, or it goes out that way. Or maybe it's this tree right here. Well, anyways, we're going to move on to the next. And there's a back piece of the... There's a map on that wall, and that's for sure. Well, anyway, somebody's shaking. I don't know who it is. Then you got the you got the golf clubs that also represent the eye, but there's no eye on the children because they ripped off the children, so we don't really know um, what it where what they're what they look like. Anyways, if you look at the window right here, it's a T, meaning tree, like a tea tree, or it could mean something else. But anyways, it means a tea tree to me. That's what it represents to me. I had wrote it right here, but due to the rain, it, it kind of messed up my writing and everything. Because I was using a, a paint pin and stuff. And here's another tea tree. There's only two T's in this building on this side. So that means TT. And TT represents TT right there. If you look, if you look closely out that way, Like right behind that, let's go. Let's go walk over there, so I can show you. This is where 
I'm sleeping in. If you look right there, there's two T's. You see those two T's? It's the first post, which is a T, and then the second post, which is a T. Two T's. Two T's go there. Well, anyways, we're gonna go over here. I don't care what they say over there. Those guys are cursing my head and crossing me. I've been crossing, they've been crossing me for so long. I saved the world from a, a collision from the moon. It, the moon could have fell to Earth or the moon could have fell to the sun. Either way, I saved the planet. And that was on 04, 05 of 2015 or 2014, one of those years. I think it was 2014, if I'm not mistaken, or 15. <coughs> but um, X marks the spot like always. And um, it was located on Hermosillo Drive, uh, 3506 Hermosillo Drive. And that's where I saved the planet from. And when the, when the moon was about to fall, it was going backwards. And, and then it, I made it go the correct way. And when it was about to fall, um, the pad came down to me. It was like a square pad like this. And I typed in the digits and the numbers to the, the Stargate UFOs. And then they pulled the moon back to its original spot. So I fixed the... The moon and that's why a lot of people are hating on me and then i also saved the president a couple times so the government's really like pissed off at me and i don't really know why they're mad at me they should be like having my back rather than trying to stab me in the back and throw me in prison for no reason but anyways here's the tt and the tt right there tt and then i counted these windows so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's twelve and twelve which i had counted and remember, if um, if anonymous, which the leader, which is I, if we know better than this, we already know that using digits and numbers and codes always represents something. And nobody else knows about that except for us. And they're trying to learn from me right now. So if you guys see anything that's written on their phones or documentations and stuff like that, make sure you erase it and annihilate it and delete it because they should not have our codes anyways i put tt right there tt tt represents tt and it goes to one of those trees out there somewhere we have the three crosses over there placed and then this is f ft so that's t still represents t and then that's ft so that's f the door represents F, and then this represents T, so it's FT. But remember, are we doing it from the outside or are we doing it from the inside? Because it can remember, it, I mean, it could represent FT or TF, one of the two. And then the same right here, this is represents TE, but if we're doing it from the inside, it represents ET, whether it's ET or FT one of them represents ET or FT and then so then I, I decoded all this already so let's go to the pool right here <coughs> here's the pool it's so freaking nice and beautiful but it's it's old and it's destroyed they're crossing my feet right now I don't know who they are all right so if you stand right here there's one line right there and then if you stand right here I was thinking for a long time right here there's one line right there whether it's it looks like it's out here but it's right there it's the line it goes with this line right here and it's lined and then this line does the same with the line right there and it goes right there and then right there has like an X in the spot right there I don't know who drew that right there there, there's some nice artwork right here. Well, anyways, there's an X, and that, that's, that's an X right there, that's an X right there, and then that's an X at the end because it knocks off those two lines, remember that. So it has to represent the three crosses somewhere around here. And if it doesn't, then that's, that means we're at one, two, that'll be one, two, three, four. So it can't represent the crosses, but there's an H, and there's an H over there, and an H right here, and an H right there. 
So that's an H, and that's one cross, so that annihilates those crosses, which this could be representing like handlebars, or something like you're caged in something, you're locked into something. <clears throat> and I think there's a there's a hole underneath this uh, this uh, floor right here. But anyways, we're gonna go over here. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna go look in the inside because I need to show you guys something in the inside. <laughs> there's a lot of people that are gonna be jealous of me. They've been jealous of me. I've been working on a book. I've been trying to save my ass. I've been trying to be a businessman, and here I am sleeping in the streets i take showers every day though you know i i go get cleaned up here's another one of my marks right here that i did because it has that too like an eye so it's like a turtle in the eye so it could represent like a turtle who knows maybe they had a turtle here or something you know <coughs> so anyways i've been trying to survive i sleep on the roof because i don't got a roof over my head this is not my house so i mean i'm just sleeping right here there's that mark that I did right there, that mark right here, and that mark right here, and then there's that light, and then there's this one right here, and then there's that one, which points out that way. But at the same time, I was looking at myself and I was like, the all-seeing eye. I walked inside and I was like, you know what, there's, there's the, there's this right here, and it looks the same as the one out there. So I came inside, let me go. Uh, Let's bring some light into this building because it's really, really dark. I'm gonna move this door out of the way. I gotta open up this right here because it's. I blocked it off because there's been people coming in and intruders and stuff, and they've been um, trying to slice my throat and kill me. They wear masks and guns and everything. I don't know who these people are. And they're just they're just trying to kill me and stuff. It's because when I was a baby at the hospital, I was born to the hospital with a different parent. And the parent that I was born with, um, she, she ended up moving to a different state and they gave her a different baby. But they kept track of her every year and every month. They kept track of her and him. And my father brought me across the seas. So when I was born, he uh, brought sperm from across the seas, got uh, a woman pregnant, impregnated her, and they took me to the hospital here in New Mexico, which is located in Medical Memorial Hospital of Las Cruces, New Mexico. And um, whenever uh, I was in the hospital, they swapped me as a baby so this life that I'm living right here, like all this right here, I shouldn't be living all this. Everything that I'm living, I shouldn't be living all this. And then they gave me a little jar because we went to Mexico. Somebody knew about this and it has the, it, it's the hospital's fault. Somebody knows about it. And, and we went to Mexico and they bought a little jar of blood, which was not even a jar. It was just a little thing of blood, like a little circle glass thing about that looked like this. Let me show you. It looked like, like that, but it was about that big. And um, they poured it down my nose and it completely changed my DNA. And so every six months or every three months or every year, they would buy that same blood and pour it down my nostril. And it, it, the blood goes to my brain and it pumped all over my body from the heart. And it changed, it completely changed my DNA. And I was a special baby when I was growing up and the hospital also wants me dead too So I'm going against the cartel members, which are the Sinaloa cartel And I'm going against the Aztecas and I'm going against New Mexico and a, and a bunch of other sets of people that I'm going against and they all want me dead Even the cops on December 20th of 2019 I was at the trailer park at Los Obles trailer park in the nighttime around uh, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, or we could put seven o'clock to nine o'clock. Three cops walk behind me and they're looking at me up and down, up and down, dogging me and stuff. And um, they they talked to some guys that were some Cruces boys, and the Cruces boys already hate me, so they already j jumped me once and broke my back. I went to go get my X-ray the other day, 
on 0, 0, 01 14 of 2020 and they said that my back wasn't broken but my back is completely broken my vertebrae is i have a slip disc and a complete broken spine like cracked from left to right and they lied about it and stuff like that and so um the Chris's boys jumped me so that means the cops are against me too and the cops are against me the Chris's boy they told the Chris's boys it that it's us against them the cops pointed at me in my direction and told the Chris's boy that and if they're a cop or or some kind of officer they should have never had told the Chris's boy we're against him so that means it's the cops and the Chris's boys against me so I don't know who's trying to kill me, but there's a bunch of cops trying to kill me and a bunch of fucking gang members trying to kill me and shit and cartels and everything because of the shit that I've I've done and I'm trying to work on this this case and stuff and they've been trying to take everything from me, my vision, my dream. They already stole my life as a baby. I I, I need compensation right here, you know? I need help. Anyways, let's go out here. <clears throat> We're gonna go right here. This is where the fun part begins, but I'm not gonna really tell you yet. So I marked it, I marked, I found some chips on the floor. There's some chips right there. They're all different colors and scattered. We got yellow, we got white, we got blue, and I used all three colors. <coughs> and um, I already told you about the diamond part right here on this floor, because the two diamond doors point it like a point. And I'm not completely done with the diamonds yet. I've still got to figure it out, but I think it's right here, if I'm not mistaken. And um, remember the logs, the lights, the light, the light, and I had a vision. So however old this house is, that means my vision is dated back on that time. So that means I'm higher than a lot of individuals and people that are around this whole area. I'm actually higher than New Mexico. And New Mexico hates the shit out of me. And here we are right here. So I, I put a chip right here and marked it right here. You can see chip. And remember, that's the eye, which represents that log right there. The eye, you see that? Not the dot. Right here, you see that right there? There's uh, there's a dot right there, too. I got to figure that out, too. There's Look at that. I, I, there's one dot, and then there's two dots. So I'm going to have to figure that out anyways right here. Boom. There's the eye, there's the dot that, the mark that I made. There's the yellow mark that I made right here. So there's something new that I have to come up with because those two dots on the right side could mean the two diamond dots right there. So, and then one one diamond dot may be over here somewhere or something, who knows, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Well anyways, boom, we got that. I, I made that mark. And then I made this mark right here. And then I shot it off this way. <clears throat> and then I made this mark right here. And I wrote that. If you could get a clear image on it. And then I marked that dot right there. Right in the middle of the center of this fireplace. See the fireplace looks the same as outside. See that? Looks the same as outside. Let me step back so you can kind of see it. See? Looks the same as outside. So we're gonna go forward. And I made a dot right here. So that means there's something inside these bricks and this wall right here. And then there's another dot right there. But I'm for sure, if I'm not mistaken, there's there's a box that's right there in the brick right there. And I think it has to do with the deed to this property is what they're trying to get because they don't really have the deed to this property. And I had wrote this right here. I put, um, let me read it to you guys because it's not going to focus. It says, the all-seen eye, Alpha Black 111957, conducted 01-15-2020. And then I said, a secret box. So there's a secret box hidden in this part right here somewhere there's got to be a box either right here it has to be right there or sorry this is all i ate i don't have no more money so i'm broke like a joke 
But anyways, right here, there's another box. But I really don't have no money. I'm poor. I'm poor like a, I'm poor. I, I'm completely broke. They stole my money, stole my life. They stole my pride. They stole my happiness. They even stole my wife. <laughs> she ain't even my wife no more. I'm not, I wasn't even married to her. But anyways, they stole her too. But who cares? Who gives a fuck? I was even poisoned in the beginning of 2019 when I was living in the apartment on First Street. Um, it was an apartment. It was A, B, and C, and D. And um, the apartment was located on First Street right there. It's F-U-R or F-I-R, First Street. And it's uh, located on some brown apartments. You'll see a van parked out there if you looked it up on Google Maps. It's like a brownish tan van. And I lived in an apartment A. And they exhausted me through the air conditioner. And I was fucked up. And my supposedly wife left me for like two, three, four months at that time. And um, <clears throat> it was fucked up because all those months I was being poisoned. And uh, I got this tattoo right here on my left side for 30 bucks from one of Adrian's friends. And um, when I got my tattoo done by some lady named Sylvia, she put poison into it into the tattoo and I and that day I can't remember but I remember that she lived on Espina Street and some other street I think it was uh Espina and and some some other street Espina something I'll take a picture of that house to show you guys exactly where it's at but yeah I was poisoned throughout 2019 all the way to 2020 throughout the whole year and I almost died like five times because the hospital found out that I knew something that I was stolen as a baby, so they've just been trying to kill me. It's like some fucking, it's not a secret or anything. This shit's been fucking egging in my mind for the past fucking 20 some years. It's like a secret egg that I just cracked open. But anyways, there you have the, the box. And then if you go up on the top, I can see through walls. And when I close my eyes and I look through the wall, there was a, another, another like a compartment that is empty in that wall up on the top of the roof up there where the chimney goes up to so we got that and then and then over here there you back in the day there used to be shotguns over here there used to be a toilet right there but there used to be shotguns and guns hanging right here and stuff like that <laughs> and then that's that TE that I was talking about, the TE or ET, whether you're looking from the inside or the outside, depending on what it may be. And then I still have to unlock this numbers right here, and I haven't really unlocked it. It holds a key in there that I need to get. And I forgot the numbers, but I know it's like three something, something, something. I can't remember. But anyways, that was that looks like it was a secured room so i'm gonna open up this right here and this shows the outside it was the f ft or tf and then right here here's the all c9 for the window with the children remember i was telling you girls and boys so i'm gonna open up this door it's kind of dirty in here and stuff like that but I count these windows and I drew that right there. Just some random stuff that I drew. And then right here, I counted the windows right here. It's one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means nine and nine. And those of us that are code breakers, we already know that numbers always means a lot when we're doing our investigations and stuff like that. So here it is right here. We got the nine, nine. It could also rep represent the II, but it's on the window. And if you add them up, that's 18, and it goes back to 18R and and 9I. And then right here, if you go right here, this is 1212, and that's and that equals up to 24, and it also represents 1212 LL. And I'll show you what LL represents when we go out to the outside, and then uh. When you add up um, four and two, that's four, five, six, which represents six F. And remember, every number and every letter 
represents and means something and it means something really really bad and this right here is crazy all of a sudden there's a freezer look at this freezer it's a freezer see that freezer it's a freezer right here what the fuck anyways boys and girls is what I put in the freezer I put conducted by Alpha Black 111957. If you look at it, I, I didn't have a special marker or anything. There's the 991212. I add it all up, which is 18R24X42DB and 6F. And check this fucking out. Remember, numbers always mean something. We got A, H, R, B, D X D B P and F but right here is the B D D D B B and there's your X there's the cross X and remember we still always have to calculate all these into the like say A B C D and it goes all the way up to Z and then it goes all the way up to P right so that's two letters, Z and P. So there's the there's the P, and then I rewrote it again, and then there's the Z P. So we're gonna go with the A H R B D X D B P and F, which this is uh, B D and D B is the X, 